get your finances back on track. And Michael Mazarin from the Retirement Education Foundation joins us. Uh, you know, obviously there's so many benefits of having a plan, but just the idea to have a plan, right? Isn't that kind of the idea behind a month like this that promotes? For, for sure, and yeah. for a lot of people, you know, we mentioned this before, how people are stressed. And typically if someone's stressed, it's it's because they don't know what they don't know. Fear, if right? Fear. If fear. we have our heads buried in the sand, we don't yep. know, are we ahead, are we behind, are we really behind? And people if right? fear. If fear. we have our heads buried in the sand, we don't yep. know, are we ahead, are we behind, are we really behind? And people just go, oh, I don't, I don't even want to know the answer. Mm -hmm. So they bury their heads in the sand, <clears throat> and instead of trying to tackle this head on, they just let that stress and fear build up and build up and build up, and that's not good for anybody. Michael, most, well, you tell me. Do most people have a financial plan? Because I feel like it's not something that's happening. No, most people don't have any semblance of a financial plan. Even fewer, less than 5% of people have a written financial plan. Wow. So some people have some concept in their head, but not even many people have that. So just getting things on paper, break out the pen and paper or Microsoft Excel, <clears throat> and see if we can really dive into getting some numbers written down here. Now, for younger people, it does not have to be that complicated. For younger people in our, you know, 20s, our first job through mid to late 40s. Just get our income tracked, our expenses tracked, make sure we're saving to the right account, 401ks and IRAs, hopefully on the Roth side, and make sure we know what we're doing and we're we're progressing towards that goal, tracking towards that goal. Now, once we're in our you know, mid to late 50s as we're approaching retirement, the game's gotta change. It gets a lot more complicated. We have to start to map out, okay, well, now that I've been saving for 20, 30 years, hopefully, when can I afford to retire? How much can I afford to spend? Pull how much income from which accounts at which times and which tax brackets? When to start Social Security? How does Medicare play in? Where is my mm. estate planning? Oh, it gets really, really complicated. <laughs> how do we do that? Yeah, well, that's kind of what I was going to say. What about the people, Michael, that maybe weren't so great in the first 20 years of work mm. and, and you know, you're sitting there at 50 years old and you're like, oh my goodness, uh, what do I got to do now? So if someone finds himself in that spot, hope is not lost, we can still course correct. Now it's going to be challenging and it might require some, some life-changing decisions to spend less, save a lot more to catch back up, but it can, it can still be done. But we can't start that process until someone breaks out the pen and paper or it sits down with Microsoft Excel to get this all the numbers on paper in front of them. The more we bury our heads in the sand again, the longer it's going to take us to get there. Okay, so Microsoft Excel, is that an easy, user-friendly place to go to begin this process? So, you know, any software system that someone wants to use, I, I default to Excel. I'm kind of a, I'm an Excel nerd, but yeah. uh, it's my preferred software. Any software someone wants to use, there are lots of software systems out there that will help you do this. And, you know, there are tons of tutorials on YouTube and you can Google it. There are plenty of resources out there. Free so resources. Free resources. Including your website, too. We have resources as well on our website. Yeah. And, you know, there's no, if someone wants to learn, there are plenty of great resources out there to help them get their feet underneath them. There's no lack of resources anymore. Do you feel most people don't have a financial plan because they just aren't sure where to start or even how to go about it? For sure. I mean, a lot of people didn't learn this in schools, unfortunately. It's one of the things we're doing through the through the foundation as we're mm. teaching in schools yeah. pretty soon here. We're excited about that. And oh, that's huge. A, a lot of the kids, you know, people just never learned, okay, what should, I, what should I be paying attention to? What's important? What's not important? What should be a flashing danger sign versus what should I be targeting for? And so the more people can start to educate themselves on these things, the more they can keep an eye out for, oh, then my employer offers a four percent match through my 401k. I should be taking advantage of that. And because some of the things are easy. I mean, put, putting money in your 401k, if that's available to you, that's one of the easy things to do, right? Easy thing to say, hard yeah. to, for someone to do it, to sacrifice the income to put it in the 401k. That's what but I was yes. going to ask you about, the sacrifice. It's hard. It's hard to be disciplined. It's just like we talk about whether it's your eating habits, your spending habits, how you're living your life. It is... It's hard, hard to, be disciplined. to do the disciplined things, I mean, right? that, the word discipline is the most important thing when someone's younger and growing their wealth. It really isn't difficult. It's a couple clicks of the button to set up your 401k and save ideally 15% or more to your 401k. It's a couple clicks of the button. It's not hard to do, right. but it does take discipline to do it. I think it takes more. It. I think it's the day-to-day because -day, that's automatic, right? But it's the daily. It's the door dashing. It's the Starbucks. It's the... Door 
your gas. I'm not pointing at you. <laughs> it looks like I'm pointing at you. I'm not. I'll use this hand to judge. But, you know, it's the Amazon. Oh, I'll just buy this real quick right. here. It's those kinds of things that catch up with us For before sure. we know it. And that's why the more we can be disciplined and automate this, if, if we're already saving 15% to the 401k, yeah, we never even see the automate. money. Well, then we can't buy the DoorDash. And we have to go pick it up in the store and save ourselves 18 bucks that for that for that meal so that's why automation is so important where can people find you uh, refedu.org refedu.org and we have links on our website yeah, and, too. and there's quizzes and everything on there that you could take to quizzes see where you're calculators at. Yeah. videos don't there's scare a lot people of stuff away <laughs> well i mean it's, i don't know uh, if they're fun quizzes no it's such it's good stuff and it's free